Hello guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech, and in today's video guys I'm going to be showing you how to make your own portable SSD or hard drive. I know if you have checked on the prices of portable hard drives and especially with SSDs, they're relatively expensive and you're paying a premium for a manufacturer like Samsung to have their drive in an enclosure and then just for them to market it and sell it. Making your own, um, it's relatively easy, you just need an enclosure and an SSD or an enclosure and a hard drive and you can really save money by doing this. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be showing you to do in this video. Now as for the specifics, what I'm going to be doing is just showing you how to make a portable SSD and hard drive. Um, so for the SSD, we've picked up a SanDisk, uh, this is the SSD Plus, it's kind of like an entry level SSD. First SSD I've seen, which is actually plastic, but nevertheless, 450 megabytes per second, read and the write is about 250. And then for the hard drive, read and write on these smaller uh, hard drives are around 125 megabyte uh, per second, read and write. So um, yeah, little hard drives like this are pretty shabby in terms of performance, about half of an actual full-sized actual hard drive, but this one I'm going to be using, nice SSD, and um, yeah, this one, this is actually a Seagate Momentus, this is a 2 terabyte drive. Now, as to the enclosures we're going to be using, so I'm going to be testing the speeds of putting, yeah, hard drive and SSD in the enclosures to see how much speed we uh, lose from putting it in an enclosure, and it connecting through the USB 3.1 and 3.0 interfaces versus uh, the internal um, SATA interfaces. Now, yeah, for the enclosures, we're going to be using a USB 3 Orico 2.5 inch enclosure, and then we're also going to be using a StarTech.com or StarTech.com a USB 3.1 enclosure. Both of these house, both of these drives, and you can put SSDs or hard drive in, in either of them. So, we're going to be going over the actual enclosures. I'm going to show you how to fit the respective drives in the enclosures, and then, yeah, going to be going over them good old benchmarks to see how much performance you do lose from putting drives in an enclosure and yeah connecting it through the USB kind of interface. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So people to get started to go over the devices and the enclosures, the SSD as mentioned is a 120 gigabyte SanDisk SSD plus for a very cheap price of 35 UK pounds. This SSD is really at 550 megabytes per second read and 250 megabytes per second write. As for the hard drive, this is a 2 terabyte Seagate Momentous drive out of my HP Scalic i7 editing laptop that I replaced with an SSD when I bought it. Both of these devices are 2.5 inch in size and are very light and portable, say compared to a full size 3.5 inch internal hard drive anyhow. As for the enclosure, the USB 3.1 enclosure has been provided by StarTech. This is a tool or 2.5 inch enclosure with a slide off top, a white LED activity light and four rubber pads under the device. The USB 3.0 enclosure is the Oracle 2.5 inch toolless enclosure. This is available in many colours and features a slide off bottom. No rubber feet are present on this enclosure so it might slide around a bit on your desk. The unit features red and blue lights at the back. As for installing the drives, this is rather easy and requires you to remove rather the top or the bottom of the enclosure and to slide your drive in. As both of these enclosures are completely toolless, no tools are required and does make it incredibly easy to swap out drives in the future. Once your drives are installed, simply slide the top or the bottom back on and attach the cables. As for the Atto Data Benchmarks, first up for the SanDisk SSD, testing the drive first in the Oracle USB 3.0 enclosure, the read speeds came back at 239 MB per second, with the write speeds being 215. As for the SSD's performance inside the StarTech USB 3.1 enclosure, the read speeds recorded were 372, with the write speeds coming back at 213, a noticeable improvement for the read speeds. Testing the SSD inside my test rig, hooked up to an internal SATA 3 6 gigabit port, the read speeds increased to 551, with the write speeds being 213, proving a SSD really does shine with an internal connection, despite SATA 3 actually being rated at 6 gigabit per second, while USB 3.0 and 3.1 are actually rated at 5 and 10 gigabit per second respectively. Moving on to the Seagate mechanical hard drive, first up for the Oracle enclosure, the read speeds were recorded at 125 megabytes per second, with the write speeds topping out at 131. Inside the StarTech enclosure, the speeds were exactly the same at 125 and 131 again, and finally, onto the tests connected to the internal SATA 3 6 gigabit port. The read speeds recorded were 125, with the write being 131. No difference at all and proves that even an old USB 3.0 interface doesn't limit data speeds for a 2.5 inch hard drive at all. So peeps, there we are, that concludes all my testing that I've done with both of these enclosures and both of these uh, storage devices, the SSD and also the hard drive. Now when using an SSD, I would recommend that you do pick up a USB 3.1 enclosure since we have seen faster speeds using this StarTech enclosure versus the Oracle one, Oracle one. And then just for the hard drive, since hard drives are just 
generally slower than SSDs. Um, you really don't need a very fast enclosure and USB 3 will deliver you some good speeds and um, yeah, this Oracle drive is relatively cheap as well. It's a lot cheaper than the, the StarTech drive, but yet again, this uh, Oracle drive doesn't do the USB 3.1, which I think nowadays is kind of needed for external SSDs. And I think that's gonna be kind of a, a thing soon. All kind of ex external SSD enclosures will be USB 3.1, as you do get more performance from using them. And anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if, if you wanna check out any of these products, so the SanDisk SSD Plus, the Seagate Memorantis, hard drive and any of these enclosures, I will include them in the good old description. Who to purchase on Amazon and um, that'll be about it. So thanks for watching guys, feel free to like, comment and also subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.